Mackenzie is the name of a rather delightful young lady who turned three not so long ago. Now, turning three was a bit of a miracle, as she was born with a paralysed stomach and has to take food through a tube inserted into her digestive system. This disorder has developed into a mild form of cerebral palsy, but for Mackenzie, all the troubles are in the eyes of others. She's a cheerful, no-nonsense, non-complaining little girl. Her grandfather, Brian, wrote to us asking for some help to make the garden a little more Mackenzie friendly. Now, he wasn't looking for labour or materials because the family's pretty handy and they're keen to help. What he was looking for was some design assistance so that the garden could work as best as it possibly could for his precious granddaughter. Well, here's the plan. Let's go and see what the family think. Now our landscape team have put the plan together and we've managed to get some plants donated as well. These are ready to go in once the family have put the finishing touches on the garden beds. Now we've got a selection of perfume beauties that Mackenzie can enjoy all year round. Plus we've got some plants for a fairy garden. Now I've got a special project for Mackenzie. It's a vegetable patch that she can not only plant up but also harvest so she can put some food on the table for mum and dad. Now it's a hydroponic acme tank, all set up ready to go. Plus we've got a selection of herbs from a naissance. Now there's herbs and repeat harvest vegetables that are ready to go in. Put that one in the This one is wet. You're another one. Because we're looking at generating lots of leafy growth, the choice of the right nutrient solution is easy. This one's called Hydroponic Garden Milk Growth Formula. If we were planting tomatoes, cucumbers, capsicum or cauliflower, where the end product is a fruit or a flower, then the Bloom Formula is the way to go. Ongoing feeding is very simple. A few capfuls of the milk per nine litre watering can every week. Now I've made Saturday morning my ritual time for feeding. It's a simple regime and it works like crazy. Now the plan calls for a raised up bed along beside the pathway and into that a whole pile of veggies, herbs and strawberries are going to go. Because it's soil, a different fertiliser is needed. This one's called vegetable garden milk but it's the same method of application. Three or four caps full into a nine litre watering can, pour it on once a week and they'll be jumping. I'm hoping our crash course in gardens is going to help Mackenzie get out of the house and into the sun and allow her to grow something for the family. I'm aiming to visit this little champion into the future, so I'll keep you informed. Now, if you'd like to find out more about these garden milk fertilisers, go to our website and download the fact sheet. Well, Mackenzie, what do you reckon about this garden? Pretty good, eh? I want to put this one in. Do you? Okay, well, I think we should do just that.